Black Ops 6 is well on its way, but I have a couple of things I want to get done before it comes out. So let's talk about it. Hey y'all, it's Butters. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. <laughs> I feel extra bubbly today. And for today's video, we're going to be playing a little bit of Modern Warfare 3, talking about some things I want to get done before Black Ops 6. I already said that. I have been consistently listening to the Black Ops 6 multiplayer menu music for the past couple of days. It's not helping with the patience of waiting for Black Ops 6. <laughs> The wait will be worth it, it's gonna be fine. But before we get into the topic of today's video, this video is sponsored by Snapdragon Pro Series. I'll be a DreamHack Atlanta to watch the Call of Duty Mobile World Championship 2024 by Snapdragon Pro Series. I'm so excited. The event will be taking place from October 4th through October 6th. I cannot wait to watch some high level competitive COD mobile gameplay. The top 16 teams from around the globe will be competing for the title of world champion. And here they are. We got Europe, Japan, India, Latin America, China, Southeast Asia, North America. Gaming is global, baby. Let's get the best COD mobile gamers from around the world to play and see who is victorious. I am so pumped. Can you tell? I don't know if it's obvious, but I will be at the Snapdragon Pro Series in person. So if you guys see me there, please say hi. It'll be broadcasted on Twitch and YouTube at the links you see here on the screen. Pick your platform, pick your viewing experience. You might even see me on the broadcast. I'll probably be in the background jumping up and down with y'all in excitement. <laughs> And if you want to go to the event but you haven't bought your ticket yet, fear not. You may purchase your ticket here at the link you see on the screen and in the description down below. And you can also use this discount code for 15% off. SPSCODM. That's the discount. And I can't wait to see how the Snapdragon Pro series plays out. Also, thank you so much, SPS, for inviting me out. I really appreciate it. They said, would you want to come watch some COD mobile gameplay? I said, oh, yes. <laughs> What am I gonna do, say no, God, are you kidding me? Without further ado, shall we go ahead and hop into the video game? Yes, look at how the color coordination I didn't mean for that to happen. This is, I'm having a good hair day, by the way. I will say that. Here we are back at some COD. So for today's video, Art the Clown is in COD now. Where is he? Sorry, Mikey, I'm putting you on the bench for today, but we're bringing out Art the Clown. <laughs> oh my gosh, his mannerisms are perfect. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh, little stares that he's doing like this. The way that he just swung around and snuck up to the camera. He looks so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, Art having a gun makes more sense than Michael having a gun. If you've seen the movies, you already know. Hello, ah. <laughs> I love it, ah, it's, it's so good, it's so good. I am pathetic when it comes to horror movies. I was at MoboCon not too long ago and I actually took a picture with a uh, Art the Clown cosplayer, by the way, so I'll put that right here. I'm so excited for Terrifier 3. We're gonna be using Art the Clown in Call of Duty today and we're also gonna be working on this one LMG because there is a camo that I want on it. I don't know why, but it's specifically the zombies one, this red and the blue one. I don't know why, but I really like it. I like the combination of uh, red and blue, as you can probably tell. Hmm, interesting. Let's go ahead and hop into some all of the shit bits 24-7. Yes, why? That sounds cute. So what all do I want to accomplish before Black Ops 6? Normally in the past years, I'm still working on the Mastery Camo Grind and Multiplayer, and I usually don't complete it until the day before the next COD comes out, but I'm ahead of the game this year, so what's on the list? Well, do I have a list for you? And I probably shouldn't show that because I have secret projects on there. Well, not like super secret. You'll, you'll know them when you see them, but I have plans. <laughs> Y'all, I just restarted my entire PC. I restarted it four times because I couldn't figure out why I was not hearing any audio. I don't have the cable plugged in. That is so bad. <laughs> all right, with that being said, look at how much double XP I've wasted. I kicked off 45 minute tokens all across the board. I'll go ahead and start with one of the projects I wanna get done. I'm doing a video where I am fixing all of my technology to where it functions very well and looks very pretty. I'm talking component swapping, BIOS updating. I've got four or five or six PCs I'm working on, other pieces of technology as well. I'm really, really excited for that video. Should I go ahead and put in a picture as a sneak peek? Yeah, I have no idea what I'm showing you, but also in the video at the very beginning, I break something. Great. She's a professional. Oh my gosh, I can hear things. Price, are you okay? <laughs> I just spawned in. Okay, let's play. You know this one LMG challenge for the camos where you have to get two kills without reloading? That is tougher than it sounds. Except one shipment. Shipment, it's easy. LMGs are the one gun class I skipped for the camo grind, and uh, I regret nothing. So that tech video I'm extremely excited about. It's pretty much done. I don't know what I want to upload. I have other things I want to upload first. For example, Excuse you. For example, I definitely want to unlock the cloud camo that's in the purgatory event in Modern Warfare 3. I can't be doing any more technical issues. I can't even mount properly. Look at this. I can't even... There we go. I, I don't want to play normal shipment. Look, can we do a fun one? Yeah, this purgatory thing. I don't know much about it. I think it's the new version of Plunder. Is that what it is? Wait, where's the cloud camo? <laughs> Hi, Mikey. Oh, there it is. Whew. I thought I missed it. That would have made me very sad. Oh, I like this camo too. What? And this one with the wings, this is giving me Devil May Cry vibes, I like that. The bullet with the wings, love that too, but this right here, I want this so bad. 
Look at it. Camo even matches my backdrop. Yeah, I really want to get this for a video here very soon. But for now, back in the shipment. Ooh, Bitmint? I don't think I've played this one. It looks cute. It's so colorful. Oh my gosh, the sky! It's uh, Minecraft, but it's not Minecraft. Hi. That's cool. It's like I'm in the nether. I am not an LMG user, can you tell? <laughs> really? Can I get some kills, please? There we go. Thank you kindly. I also would love to make a Haunting in Warzone video with my friends. I played a little bit a couple days ago with them. Should I put in a clip? I might have something. I'll put it in now. <laughs> oh, that was good. <sighs> We're good. <laughs> oh, scared the crap. Oh, I thought you- The haunting event is- Excuse me. Move, move, move. The haunting event is so much fun. If you haven't played it, I highly recommend it. But I don't think they have the jump scares quite figured out. They don't have audio. Is that normal for everybody else? Have y'all experienced that too? Please let me know. I was hoping to be jump scared a little bit more. Dude, I can't use LMGs. <laughs> oh, it doesn't mean drop it. <laughs> Where, where'd it go? Huh? Really? Yeah, I'm glad I skipped LMGs for the camo grind. I would be losing my mind. Hell no. Another video I want to get done. I definitely want to make my COD Next video. I missed it last year because I had some other things going on, but I want to make a video recapping my COD Next experience and talking about the multiplayer, the zombies, and the war zone. And just showcasing some really cool pictures too. I got to see the largest ventriloquist doll in the world based on a video game character. Her name is Abby the Abomination. I'm sure you guys have seen pictures of her, but I'll go ahead and put it in now. I'm pretty sure the Guinness Book of World Records came out and said, yep, that is the biggest ventriloquist doll themed after a video game character. COD Next was a fantastic experience, but I'll say talking about it for the full video. I'm leveling my gun. Yes. One step closer to the camo. Oh, look. This is what I want. Guys, I'm Lost Cloud Camo, not clickbait. I did it without doing purgatory. Oh. Speaking of traveling for events, I was recently in San Diego for TwitchCon. Defeat. <laughs> Arch just standing there. Look at his head. He, he looks so dapper. TwitchCon was incredible as per usual. I haven't been in five years, so it was lovely to go back. It definitely had a much more chill vibe this year, which I liked. And I got to go and work with Roland, which is so cool. You'll see more Roland stuff in my uh, tech video. I did want to show you guys some things that I got while I was at TwitchCon. There's a booth there called All the Dwagons, and I went ahead and got some dwagon keychains. And if y'all know me, y'all already know which dragons I got. I mean, of course I got Spyro and Cinder. How could I not? Spyro's got glasses on one side too. How cute is that? I absolutely love these. I also got a spiral lanyard, if you can see the pattern on there. Very, very cute. I'm obsessed with spiral, but y'all know that. Oh, it's a beautiful sunny day here on the shipment. I was in San Diego and I was on a boat. I was on multiple boats and even a submarine. I can't get killed with this LMG. I'm sick of it. I'm gonna get this camel and I'm done. <laughs> Wasn't this supposed to be a really good year for LMGs in Modern Warfare 3? Because I am having many an issue. See? Simply not compatible. Give me that. Okay, yay. I went to the Maritime Museum in San Diego recently and I got to go on some boats and y'all know me. I love me some boats. I love me the ocean, water. I own a boat myself. I've got a 40 foot carver. And I just bought a jet ski recently too. San Diego was incredible though. Going on the submarine was really cool. Kind of terrifying, but really cool. If y'all want to see the boats that I was on, I'll put in my little Instagram post down below so you can see all of them. I love boats. Objective player. <laughs> I don't want this camel anymore. <laughs> I don't want to use this darn thing. It's awful. Are you serious? Is it the gun or is it me? Be honest. At least I'm leveling it up. See, that's how it should be. That's it. I'm still objective player. Art thrives in chaos. <laughs> okay, that was, you took flight. <laughs> I guess that makes sense as a Gundam. Another project I want to do, I did build a PC for one of my friends last night. It's a surprise PC and I'm not going to show it here because, you know what? I will. I will show it. No, I won't. I won't. I'll save it for the video, but I'm surprising my friend with a brand new PC. They need one. It's been five years since I built the last one, so it's time. I just had the Black Ops 6 multiplayer menu music stuck in my head, raining the fire. I've been listening to it pretty much on the daily for the past week and it's not been good. <laughs> well, it's been great. It's just, I, it's... Well, let me clarify, it's been great. It's just not helping with, you know, waiting for Black Ops 6. The guy who did the Black Ops 6 multiplayer theme, by the way, is Jack Wall. And if y'all are longtime Black Ops fans, you know that Jack Wall's also done Adrenaline from Black Ops 2 and other games. Other very iconic soundtracks that whisk us back into the good old days of high school, middle school. I'm so excited he was brought back to do this year's theme as well. Pumpkin? 
How did you do that? Wait, how did you pumpkin? Is it your gun? How did he pumpkin? I need that. I am sick of this one. I just realized at the time I'm recording this, it's officially this dude's month. All hail, little guy. He's all knowing. I wanna execute. No! Oh, perfect. Yes! Really? You don't see me gifting him a pumpkin? I'm just trying to spread the goodwill that is pumpkin. The nice pumpkin, I swear. Please. Just ignore me. No. Defeat. Y'all get on my last nerve. Just take the pumpkin. But I have a full minute on the objective. Where were you guys? You all didn't play objective at all? At least I'm an objective player. Another video I'd love to do, I'd love to do a final send-off for Modern Warfare 3 because Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer has been one of my favorite COD experiences in the past five years. Is that weird to say? Is that controversial to say? I think the wide variety of game modes that we've gotten has been fantastic. Like, get high. What a fun addition to the series. I've really enjoyed the wide variety of operators, camos. Modern Warfare 3 just feels at home as a COD multiplayer game feels very familiar, very good. But I'd love to put more of those thoughts into a full-on video as a love letter to Modern Warfare 3. We'll see if I get to that. That would be nice. My cat just jumped down. Oh, I forgot to mention I installed a pet door. It's on backwards, but there's a pet door in here now. So now my cats can come in here more often and be on camera. I have to keep the door closed in my office because I have a pet snake in here who needs the temperature a little bit more regulated in this house. So I kept on saying, I'm gonna get a pet door. I'm gonna get a pet door. Well, she did it and it got installed backwards, but at least it works, right? I mean, if you're in here, it's the right way around. You know what I mean? You can read it from out here, but on the outside, it doesn't matter. It functions the same. However, my cat Connie is currently staring at it because I think she forgot how pet doors work. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. There's a rubber ducky in the corner. Do you guys know that? Rubber ducky right here, the dude. Modern Warfare 3 hides rubber duckies everywhere and it makes me very happy. This one is. brand for art too. That's all I want to do too. Is it that hard? I also have another video idea that I'm actually going to keep to myself and we'll see if I actually pull it off. Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to pursue this one thing, but I don't know if I have enough time or enough willpower. So I'm going to keep it to myself. And if it happens, I'll let you know. It would be so sick if I pull it off. I'm hoping I can. It just depends on what I have going on. Oh, I was on my Twitter today and I saw a lovely tweet by Ferg. If y'all know Ferg, he's a mobile creator. I didn't even know that today, October 1st, the day that I'm recording this. I leveled up this thing all the way. Yes, fantastic. I can go for camo challenges now. I'm not using it anymore. We'll do the shotgun. I feel like Art would like that a lot. Did you know that October 1st is the day that COD Mobile was released five years ago, back in 2019? And you're telling me this weekend I get to go watch some competitive COD Mobile? Are you kidding me? What perfect timing, right? Oh, this is a pump action. I thought it was like the uh, Spaz 12 from Black Ops 1, but it's not. I have stun grenades, not stims. Art's kind of a menace with this thing though, okay. That was so bad. <laughs> I know how to play COD, I promise. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I went thrifting yesterday, y'all, and the thrift finds that I found, I actually posted one of them to my Instagram story, but a lot of people had issues with it. I found this wine rack with leather straps, like a steel heavy wine rack for $5. And I was so excited about it. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to display the rarest bourbon that I have. Once I collect all the bottles, I only have two out of the six of them. The line is Pappy Van Winkle for those who don't know. I thought that would be such a good display piece for my bourbons, for my Pappy. I posted it to my Instagram story and people immediately said, no, don't do it. Somebody even said, halt. <laughs> Stop, you violated the law like an oblivion NPC. That's not me calling you an NPC if you're watching this. It's not that at all. I appreciate the input. If you store bourbon on its side, the bourbon will hit the cork and it will dissolve the cork because it's such a heavy alcohol concentration. I didn't know that. So uh, I'm not doing that anymore. Thank you for your input. I appreciate it, y'all. Thank you. I, I genuinely would have, that would have sucked if I ruined that one bottle that I have. Victory, excellent. I have the most confirms because I am an objective player as you already know. Something else I thrifted in that thrift trip, which I was so excited about. Okay, hear me out. So this is a binocular bag and it's just a square bag. You open it up like this, okay? It says Jason on it, you open it up and it has a little logo that has binoculars on it. Okay, so hear me out. As if I haven't said hear me out five times already. This would be such a fun bag for fall time because what if I put a little Jason from Friday the 13th keychain on here, maybe other slashers because it says Jason and it's a box like this, such a good everyday bag that I can carry. It would be secure for my daily vlogging camera. Like it just makes so much sense. I was very excited when I found this and it was $5 by the way. I don't know if you guys care about, you know, all that, but your girl loves a good deal. How would you rate the connection? Honestly, 
it was pretty good. What else do I want to get done before Black Ops 6? I do have a second channel. Did you guys know that? I'll go ahead and link it up in the corner. Uh, I upload to it very rarely. I haven't uploaded, I think, in over half a year. But I have so many video ideas. I have so many videos recorded. I just have to actually edit them and upload them. I'm talking videos like Borderlands, thrifting vlogs, DIYing some clothes. I'm sure y'all saw my Black Ops 6 shirt, the number shirt. I recorded the entire process. I just haven't made them into videos yet. I would love to, but the main channel takes priority. So we'll see if we'll have time. I was gonna do a horror movie tier list on there. I don't know what stopped me from doing it, but that was also in the plans. I just never did it. But I think the main thing I want to accomplish before Black Ops 6 comes out is to be in a happy and good mindset so I can go ahead and start on that camo grind early. Well, okay, I'll do campaign first. Full transparency, every time a new Call of Duty game comes out, we stream the campaign all the way through. And then we make a highlights video on it. I've done many Call of Duty campaign videos on my channel. If you haven't seen them, go check them out. I even did COD 4 not too long ago. I say not too long ago, that was probably two or three years ago, but still, I had never played it before, and that is one of the best campaigns in the franchise. I'm a campaign nerd. Some people ask me how do I feel about the campaign not being released early this year. It's not gonna affect the way that I play the campaign, I'm still gonna play it first, but it was really nice for it to be available so that gamers who usually jump into the multiplayer or warzone grind still had time to try out the campaign and experience it, because campaign's probably the least played mode on COD. We have a swarm on Ghost Ship. This is terrifying, <laughs> this is awesome. What did I die to? What? <laughs> what? Dude turned to a missile. Long story short, I will be playing the campaign when Black Ops 6 does drop. That'll be the first thing that I do. And then I'll hop into the camo grind, but also my best friend is getting married around the same time, so we'll see what happens timing-wise. Nonetheless, I'm extremely excited about it, and I hope that you guys are too. And I got DreamHack Atlanta this weekend. Y'all, I said, what, last year, two years ago, I said, I just wanna do some sh And guess what? I'm doing some sh and I genuinely feel great. Camo, I feel even better. Objective player. Hey. But well, how are you guys doing? Comment down below and let me know. How are y'all doing going into October? Are y'all excited for Halloween? Are y'all excited for Black Ops 6? Are y'all going to any specific events as of recently? Let me know. Hey, this shotgun is a shotgun and that's okay. I hope that you all are doing well and taking very good care of yourselves to the best of your ability. Oh my gosh. This shotgun is so good, guys. You should definitely use it. Okay, connection, okay. Connection, no breathing. Hello, hello, hello. Is that my leg? What was that? Is that my leg? Is that my arm? It got so quiet. <laughs> Just a random boy. <laughs> I don't think it worked. <laughs> okay. Yay. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've tried streaming a little bit more as of recently. Um, I might have to slow down again a little bit just to deal with some IRL things going on uh, and to prepare for Black Ops 6. So just letting you know, I've been trying and I just feel good. I really do. The positivity and happiness truly is overflowing as of recently. And something I haven't told y'all to do in a long time, drink you some water. When's the last time I did this in a video? It's been too long, so go ahead and do it because it's been a while. I certainly hope you've been drinking your water without having me have to tell you. Lovely. But I think it's everything I want to go ahead and talk about for today's video. I'm so excited to be rounding off this year of Modern Warfare 3 in a very good and on a positive note. And thanks for sticking with me and believing in me throughout all these projects too. I really appreciate it. I I, I love my job. Content creation is amazing and I, I really appreciate you all being here. Thank you. And friendly reminder, I will be at DreamHack Atlanta to attend the Call of Duty Mobile World Championship 2024 by Snapdragon Pro Series. That is a long term. Did you hear that? I said it correctly. So if you see me there, please say hi. Anyways, like, comment, please subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Whatever I make, bye. Bye-bye. I had to teach my cat how to use a pet door again. She's just sitting outside the pet door looking so sad. You know what that is. You just, just, just bump your head into it. Just, no, that's fine. She's just sitting there like a loaf. She's good at that.